what's going on guys today we are going to configure visual studio core for php development and also we are going to install warm server in our local machine for the execution of php code and also we are going to create a mysql database using php admin section of warm servers now you know that php is server side programming language that means uh, php can only be run by server but in the local computer how can you run that so in local computer what you can do is you can download one server application that is warm server and install that and we are going to execute our php code from that warm server so let's install warm server and then again visual studio is mandatory so let's do it open up any browser and search warm server it will not work in mac os or other operating system you have to use a jam server xampp and uh, these two are kind of similar i'm uh, using warm and actually i like warm server better than jam server so go to warm server.com and there download that and go to download and 32 bit or 64 bit i'm uh, going to use 64 bit and here you can click uh, you can download it directly click that link and it will start downloading warm server now save that warm server and it will take some time to download it depending upon your internet speed After completing download, open that .exe file from your download dead folder. A select your language, English. I accept the agreement. Click next. Click next. And where you want to set up your warm server, warm 64, and then click next. yes you can select your default browser or click cancel uh, do you want to choose another text editor install in your system no and then click next click finish now in order to run php code in warm server what you need to do is first of all you have to run the warm server uh, go to start and search your warm server and run it it says service started everybody all service running now in your system tray there you can see if it is green then all service are running if it is red or uh, orange this color then uh, all service are not running you have to restart your warm server our server is running successfully now install bs code also so open up any browser and source bs code and then go to that first link that appeared in your source engine and then depending upon your environment or operating system whatever you are using download that corresponding visual studio code version i'm using windows so i'm going to install uh, either uh, you can install either user installer or system installer i'm going to use system installer uh, 64 x 64 not arm version it will automatically start downloading now uh, run that dot exe file that is downloaded in your system yes and accept the agreement and then click next visual studio code next and uh, by default it to path and register code is an editor for supported file system that two option are already selected um if you like other option like creating a desktop icon then you can select that option i'm not going to do that and install after installing launch click finish it will automatically launch bs code 
now it will ask you a couple of uh, question or it will ask you to choose the settings uh, when you install visual studio code for the very first time you can choose air themes dark high contrast light mode light mode on dark mode on i'm going to use that one and it support all our language that you can see and you can change your settings and sync setting across devices that means you have to log in through your account and unlock productivity with common palette and couple of more settings here and it has a lot of extension and it also has a built-in terminal install gate customize your shortcut and mark done uh, open up visual studio and go to extension and source psp here uh, uh, we need to initial some intellisense for psp here psp debug psp you can install lots of uh, extension from here that are popular i'm installing a couple of extension here now after installing all extension let's reload our bs code and also uh, check our server and let's check server also here it is not turning green it only orange one service is running and rest are not running because we need to have all service running so for that uh, we need to check whether what is uh, the problem in our system maybe the IIS is running so open that IIS and it is uh, definitely running it so stop that uh, that is the Microsoft IIS information internet information service for running for running asp.net codes now let's restart warm server now it is green that means all service are running uh, so what we have to do is first of all uh, create new file control plus n and save that file what do you save that file here is the trick part you have to go to c and where is save go to 164 and then you need to save inside www folder and here hello.php save that uh, now it is uh, displaying sorry uh, error uh, we can ignore that and here inside hello.php let's write some php code here php and close and here echo hello from psp from bs code simply save that and what we need to do is go to browser and here localhost slash hello.php there you can see hello from psp from bs code so in this way you can configure bs code for psp development here we are using one server that means it is psp apache a mysql and windows that means we can also create a database in mysql so go to localhost first and here uh, it is showing this one server and what you can do is you can go to psp my admin now here uh, login the default username is root and password is empty simply click login and from here you can create database like login database login psp and then click create and table name is login and number of call is equal to two create like username and data type is bear care and you should enter the length also password data type is bear care and then length is 50 and then click save and in order to insert some data go to insert and here admin admin simply click go and to your table there you can see the inserted value also so in this way you can configure visual studio code for the psp deployment and uh, you can use one server for the mysql database and uh, to execute the psp code in your local machine so uh, that's it
and stay connected with this channel guys because we are going to create a lot of tutorial regarding PSP and stay connected with this channel guys because we are going to create a lot of tutorial regarding PSP and MySQL so definitely subscribe this channel and thank you for watching have a good day bye bye